Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Hey, uh, just another quick video on Jim's to-do list. We're on Carnival Cruise Ship Conquest. And needless to say, uh, one of the major complaints that I've had, my wife's had, about going on the cruise ships, and even a lot of hotels nowadays, is you cannot use the TV for any other format aside from whatever their TV channels are that they want you to have. So needless to say, we found out a way to go ahead and circumvent that system. And I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So anybody wants to do a cruise in the future, um, I'm pretty sure this works with just about any TV that's out there because all the cruise ships, even though they may use different TVs, they are actually using the same type of system where it's all an in, uh, what's the lack of a better word, basically an a interior system where it's a controlled loop that they can go ahead and do their own programming with. So come on over here. We're going to check it out, and I'm going to show you how to hook up a laptop. You can hook up a PlayStation, a Xbox, whatever you want to hook up. It's pretty simple. So if you look on the back right here, you're going to see where they've got basically an Ethernet cable. In fact, I'm going to have my wife come around on the other side. Go ahead and come around the other side so you can get a better look at that cable. All right, so right here they've got an Ethernet cable. First thing we want to do is unplug this. It's just like the old telephone lines, okay? So you're going to unplug that. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to first of all see that the screen just went to snow. It's black now, but it's going to go to snow here in a second, okay? Once you unplug that, you've unplugged everything that the cruise line is actually has for programming. So if you do want to watch any of their special messages as far as shore excursions or stuff like that, you definitely have to have that plugged in. So make sure you plug it back in. Then what you want to do is I have an HDMI cable here that I have plugged into my laptop right down here. Okay. So needless to say, you can see we still have snow here, but I'm going to plug the HDMI cable in the back right here. It just goes in just like that. Now here's the interesting part, and this one kind of threw me for a loop at first. The remote does not work now. As soon as I unplug that ethernet cable for the cruise line, the remote is useless. It does not shut off, it does not do anything, okay? No volume, no nothing. So you have to do this manually. What I mean by that is no remote. So you set the remote aside, and I don't know if you can see it here, but it says source. There's no other input buttons like you would have on your home TV. Obviously, these are TVs that the cruise lines and the hotels are having done special for them. In this case, it's a Samsung. But needless to say, you would hit that source button. It's just like an input button. And again, there's no input button or source button on the remote. But even if there was, it's now useless. So go ahead and hit the source button right there. And you can now see my laptop screen, okay, which is the same as you see right down here. And as you can see, they match up. So if I want to play a movie now and run it through a bigger screen, I can definitely do that. You can see my cursor moving around. I can go into my DVD files, whatever I want to do. So that is how you do it. Now, of course, obviously your volume and everything else is going to be right here. It has to be done manually because the remote will not work. So anyway, that does it for now for Jim's to-do list. I hope obviously this will help a lot of you all. I know it was frustrating the last couple of cruises we've been on and weren't able to watch any movies or anything we wanted to do. Obviously we do a lot of video logs too, both myself and my wife, and it's nice to be able to go ahead and actually edit some of those videos on a much larger screen instead of just having to do it on your laptop. So anyway, that's it for now. Hope it all helps. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.